No, but we have a um, we have a Miltiades Pikes. And yes, French boy right again coming strong with his Scipio Javelin. Let's see if he can make a, a not a flute and can actually prove to everybody. You have CA, like, I hope you're watching. This five needs a nerf. Seconds. He has like five seconds charge, so one of the weaknesses of javelins, right, is closing the distance between them and long range like arches and slingers. With five seconds charge, you can cover out of this distance very quickly. It's true. It is ba basically relying on the enemy team to not respect that charge. Although the overall movement speed is lower, the burst movement speed is higher. And that's what you need to play in order to uh, get your advantage properly done. Hopefully try and get some rear shot, um, timing your throws correctly so that your uh, javelins hit as the enemy javelins are walking away. Yeah, but that's nothing has to do with Scipio or something. Well, Scipio, can, like... <laughs> Scipio can take more advantage of that because uh, the uh, enemy javelin player might not be expecting Scipio to be able to close that range so quickly. Although I'm a bit disappointed here. I was expecting Team 1 to be the meme team, but it seems that Team 2 are memeing a little bit harder. I don't know, there's just slow javs, it's like a bit of a meme. I was thinking more the Miltiades Pikes on Hadrian's Wall. I don't see what they achieve here at the moment, unless Mil Miltiades I see Miltiades Pikes team are team. a very good pick for a rush composition. You, could just, you could just break ranks, run very fast towards the enemy. And he has to run away, because if he doesn't, he gets spiked. You think Team 2 are gonna rush here? And they don't have Caesar Javelins to actually silence that Pike Phalanx. That's true. That is a big weakness of uh, Pike Phalanxes that has suddenly been taken off the table. How are Team 1 gonna respond to this? I think at the moment they've been thrown a bit of a curveball. Maybe they have been signaled that they are playing against an aggressive team here. They're going to have to do something in order to uh, stem that flow. Possibly a light artillery. Or it looks like they're just going for the same composition as last time. I mean, it worked, so... It did, but will it work again? That is the question. Now, I would say... I mean, feel free to disagree with me, but I would say that that game was lost um, because of mistakes made in positioning and uh, not not prioritizing, not valuing those elephants as much, um, rather than one because of mm. strong tactical play. No, I think the turning point really was that charge uh, that Adhokrasi found into uh, what was it Guns and Bloomshin, right? Um, had full HP. He was in the perfect position to punish those elephants, and those elephants were being punished pretty heavily. They were at the edge of his range, and yet the one one elephant was down to half HP already. But then they found a charge that wiped out half of HP of against the Bloomshine uh, Javelinman, and allowed those elephants to close in the distance without being shot at by javelins. So that was a huge turning point that pretty much threw that team off guard, and out of the meme team to well, do their thing. And I don't think that was just lucky, because the cavalry did actually set up on that side. I think they were using that elephant, uh, elephant plus cavalry combination very intentionally, hoping to bait so out... elephants the... like a bait layer? Yeah, that could have happened. Yeah, exactly. Or maybe just blind luck, we don't know. Well, let's give some credit here. They're not terrible players. They're memers, though, I'm just like me. Yeah. They are memers, it's true. And luck is often much more powerful than skill. Oh, yeah, definitely. But it's also the situation. Like, situation changes all the time. And that's up to team captains to react to those situations and use that luck, use that opportunity that presents itself. And Mongoose, in this case, and his team did. Now, it looks like Team 2 here are very much showing their hand in an aggressive team, an overly aggressive team, with incredible mobility. Now, what are they planning to do here? Just rush down the middle, or do you think that they'll take a flank with something? Maybe with those uh, javelins? Because they are arguably the fastest setup uh, that you can get without Cav. 
which is another notable noticeable thing here. They don't have any cab on the field. Yep, they are quite fast. Then again, they have um, both archers and slingers against six uh, javelinmen of the other team. So they are comfortable sitting back and just shooting at the other team, the Iberian slingers team. While the Iberian slingers will have to rush and close the distance between them and the enemy team because of their short range javelins. Although one of the things to be noticed, noticed is that Team 1, they still have one more pick. And Elephant God, as far as I'm aware, also plays relatively good cavalry, which can be, um, although yes, yes the question is spears if he has them unlocked. Cavalry. No, the question is if he does have that cavalry locked. Because uh, he plays on uh, NA. And That's on his EU account, I think he has only elephants. So it looks like the elephants have been locked in. Yeah, ready up and play. Go. Come on, Kiwi, they are ready. If they weren't, they wouldn't prospect. Uh, that didn't happen last time, where we no. had a commander disappear. I think it's worth waiting five seconds in order to just make sure everything goes. Yeah, let me rush. <laughs> And this is now match two of Hadrian's Wall. The first match, in case any of you didn't see, uh, ended up being a really nice tactical rush through the middle. Um, I wouldn't say so much of a YOLO mid rush. I'd say a, um, yes, let's go with intention mid rush. And it did really pay off, um, making crucial cavalry charges at the right moment, allowing that elephant to go in and completely wreck the end game. It's one of the downsides of uh, it's playing against elephants. Too. That depends how you really define it. But... Well, they were very planned. Um, they were abs They set up from it for the very beginning, and they were waiting for the right opportunity, and they took that opportunity exactly the right moment. Capture their base or cut them down. Does it look like we're going to have a repeat of the same tactics? Hmm. Baron Slingers... Well, they captured the Watchtower on the right side. Going with Elephants to capture the one on the left side as well. So they're establishing a vision control early on. Now, I'm a bit worried about that because that means should the red team decide to push through the middle, they might be out of position, but they wouldn't react in time. Bear in mind, they know that this team is very fast, is very mobile, if and if they play that to their advantage, the wall, they might yeah. actually get something done. Iberian Slingers are hiding the wall, so the long-range advantage that uh, Silver Shield Swords may have is not really coming into play right now, because they just cannot shoot. And they're collapsing their elephants and cavalry from both sides, and once they're close enough, they're gonna pull the trigger, and attack from both sides again. Now it does this look time like the are aware of this. Uh, they are setting up their pikes on each flank in order to try and deal with those elephants. I think that's the that is the mentality of this Miltiades pike. Our job is to kill the elephants, almost nothing else. Um, because they only thing that can actually kill. Oh no, they have the javelins as well. They have the okay. javelins as well, as well as the archers and slingers. Um, I think it might be a little bit overkill. Are they putting too much weight on the elephants, do you think? And not enough weight on the infantry the fight, which is going to come at some point? Blood. Lucky have... first blood there, that was an absolute blind fire. Yep, they have uh, three ranged players after all, uh, versus the only two on the side of the Burning Slingers. Any Burning Slingers has elephants, so... Some um, really nice that scouting depends, there that depends. On. How the team will be positioned, maybe not really positioned, just what formation they are going to take, and if the Iberian Slinger team will be able to break that formation efficiently and close the distance uh, quickly enough. They're now, I'm surprised here. 
I'm surprised here. We have a, on the red team, we have a very highly mobile setup, but they're waiting for the enemy to come to them. Do you think that's a bit of a mistake? Well, they're capturing their base, they're pressuring them, and there's still 12 minutes to go. So I think there's no pressure there. Oh look, that cavalry just uh, made x squared run away from his main team's formation. So if they manage to pull away some units, and we do have break their, up break the their, they uh, have given the vision to the archers. A couple of shots do go down, but it doesn't seem to be too much. Yeah, French Boy already got some damage done to him. And they're, they're now close. If there is a time to pull the trigger, it is now. And that's what they're doing right now. They have taken that opportunity. It looks like the red team is ready and waiting yep. there. But the elephants are coming around the side. They have noticed them. They're starting to reposition. But are they going to be able to execute this correct correctly? These pikes have shown their back. A uh, little bit of a mistake. I think it would be better for them to the just stand still and try and take it. Hours. And now the red team is in full retreat, looking for some space Ooh. to go into. Yeah, they already uh, wrecked uh, one uh, pike uh, unit. Autocracy is behind lines. He's they're going for a sneaky in. charge here. Oh, and not, not seeing the gap, managing to pull out just in time. It looks like he is going to get punished. That's a third of his unit gone for that. Yeah, if that was very Singetary's cap, he just could have taken it and uh, defiance in there. Oh, okay, get uh, Firehawk, got them. Firehawk got some nice damage onto Gens and Blumchen. So, getting rid of those javelins will be absolutely essential. Pikes are just being killed one by one by one. There's only one unit left right now after this one is dead and it won't be uh, so ready for long. The other is already being chewed down. So, they're just moving their six javelin block along with their infantry and wrecking everything on the way. The pikes have managed Ooh. to catch the elephants. That's half of one elephant going down with the javelins going yeah, in. He's going to knock past the deck. That's a huge mistake on the side of Elephant God being caught by those uh, pikemen. Like, there, there are six javelins next to that pike unit. Just to wait a few seconds longer for javelins to clear the way. But now, they need to look, at, look at the spinster. Right look at they the spinster of cavalry in. plus elephants. Locking in those all range units. Like, the wrong range is here for nothing. Pikes cannot Strong do charge going in there. Once they break through... Up, not really being able to do the damage he needs to do in order to save his team. That yeah. front door is completely open. There is nothing to stop going in. Opened by Elephant God and followed in by the rest of the team. Yeah, RM is Pikes... now in a perfect position to just close in all these range units. They're trying to run away um, into this little corridor where this, the entire enemy team is instead of just running through their own blob. And I'm sure Elephant God right now, he sees that blob as a really delicious treat. I'm sure that six Javelin player also are seeing that this way. Uh, there we go. Now they're shooting the blob and it's going to disappear in a few seconds. Really nicely executed. Similar strategy as before. Um, pulling the trigger at the right time and the boot, uh, red team just not being able to respond. I don't can see the nice charge well, on it. That, that's what I like. That's that's a long range composition. That um, Silver Shield Swordsman went full ranged meta meme, and they got punished by the real meta meme, which is co <laughs> team coordination, attacking from flanks, and just punishing that overflow of ranged. And so like uh, that was six. Uh, ranged players versus nine ranged players. So it's not like they have full melee, but they just did everything correctly, which is a very beautiful thing to watch. And they're farming kaplans. Or are they coming for you? Okay, that's oh, yeah. the point. Yeah, they're coming for you. I'll talk to you found you, I see. So that's the ultimate meme kill the caster instead of cap the base. I have to say that the initial positioning was really bad. Um, I you couldn't see on your screen, but essentially, uh, if you imagine the front uh, where the front of the base is, they were just kind of hanging out. They didn't really manage. Um, they didn't really do anything. They were just sitting there while the enemy team could see them. They didn't retreat up to a side or anything like that. Just kind of waited to be pounced on, and that gave the blue team complete initiative to do whatever they want pick the fight when they wanted to, where they wanted to, and they got punished for it. Yeah, I just wonder how that battle would go the if that was 8v8 instead of 6v6, but it was very, very entertaining battle that I must give them.
despite it being only six of six. 